In this video, I am answering a question from the Pearson Class 10th IIT Foundation Physics, Kinematics Chapter Level 2, the question number 41. The question uh, I will type in the description box. Right now I am reading so that it is understood. The question says, there is a lift escalator or something like that. A lift ascends from rest with uniform acceleration of 4 meter per second square. Then it moves with uniform velocity and finally comes to rest with a uniform retardation of 4 meter per second square. The total distance travelled or total distance of ascending by the lift is 28 meters and total time of ascent is 8 seconds. With this information, we have to tell the time for in which the lift moves with uniform velocity and we have to find the uniform velocity. To understand this question, we can draw the graph of the complete motion of the lift. That I have drawn here. The graph is between velocity and time. So according to the question, first the lift was accelerating, then it came to uniform velocity, then it decelerated and finally stopped. So acceleration is this, 4 meter per second square, then the body travelled with uniform velocity and then it retarded and finally came to rest. The total distance ascended by the lift is 28 meters. Here we should know a point that whenever we have a graph between velocity and time, velocity versus time graph, the area under the graph gives the total distance travelled. So according to the question, total distance travelled is 28 meters and this has to be the area under the graph. So area under the graph that is 28 meters is given. So we have to find with this information what is the time for which the body stayed in uniform velocity. For that I do some small slight constructions in this. So let this point be 0 as well as O. This is A, this is a B, this is C, this is a D and let this point be some E. So the total time of ascending is 8 seconds. So let us take during the accelerated period the body had uh, taken X seconds so during acceleration, it was uniform. During retardation also, it is uniform. So time for acceleration and time for retardation should be same. So if uh, during acceleration, x seconds was taken, then during retardation also, the lift must have taken x seconds. In that case, the period for which the body stayed in uniform velocity, that time should be 8 minus x plus x. So 8 minus 2x that is first or one of the things that we are supposed to find. So the time during which the body stayed in uniform velocity from the graph is a AD and AD is a 8 minus a 2x. So once we know the value of x we can tell for what a duration after acceleration the body stayed in uniform velocity and then it started retardation. So x we should find. Also we have to find the uniform velocity with which the lift travelled after being accelerated and before retarded. So we have to tell this one. This means we have to find AB. So AB this part is velocity. So what a duration the body stayed with uniform velocity. So we have to find the uniform velocity of the body also. So uniform velocity is uh, AB. So these two things we have to find. So we will start with the concept that area under velocity versus time graph gives the total distance travelled. So total distance travelled is the uh, area of this. So area of O, B, C, E, D, A, O. If I can write like this or you can write O, B, C, E, O. So total distance travelled that means a total ascending. The lift has travelled a max distance of 28 uh, meters. So total distance is 28. Area of this complete thing is the area of this triangle plus area of this triangle. Keep in mind acceleration and deceleration was uniform. So this area and this area are same. So I can write area of that is a twice area of triangle twice area of triangle OAB plus area of the rectangle rectangle ABCD so rectangle ABCD so this is 28 
twice. Area of this is a half of a base into height. Base is also our requirement and height is that uniform velocity that is also our requirement. So x times AB plus area of this rectangle is length into breadth. Length is also we should find that means our distance, time, duration for which the body was in uniform velocity uh, that is AD. So AD into AB both of them we want. So what is AD? AD is uh, 8 minus 2x. So 8 minus 2x times uh, AB. So here in an equation if you have two unknowns the equation stays as equation. But if you have one unknown we will get the value. Right now we want value. So for that what we do is we should understand that um, during this period the first acceleration we know that acceleration is uh, velocity by time. So acceleration is a 4. So acceleration is a velocity information by time information. Velocity is AB. So we can write this as a AB by X. So acceleration is a velocity by time like this. Acceleration is a 4. We go for a simple cross multiplication and we will get AB as a 4X. So in place of AB we can write 4X. So here 2 cancels. We get 28 is a x times 4x is uh, plus 8 minus 2x times 4x. Now go for distribution. So here we get 28 is uh, 4x square plus 8 times this is a 32x minus 8x square. Write everything properly, we will get 28 is uh, minus 4x square plus 32x. Transposing these two to the left side, we will get 4x square minus 32x plus 28 is a 0. This we will bring to standard form by dividing throughout by the highest common factor. Now bringing this to standard form, we will get x square minus 8x plus 7 is 0. We can go for splitting the middle term. So the factors 7 and 1 but we want minus 8 so go for minus 7 minus 1. So the two factors of this is x minus 7 times x minus 1 that turns 0. x is actually the time. This is on time axis. So finally x is 7 seconds or 1 second. So one of them has to be absurd. How to know that? We will come to our requirement. We are supposed to find AD. AD is the time for which the lift was a traveling with uniform velocity. And AD is the 8 minus a 2x. 8 minus 2x. That we discussed in the beginning of the question. 8 minus a 2x. So once we will substitute this in place of x. And next we will substitute this in place of this. So it is 8 minus a 7. 2 times 7. So this becomes a negative. So this becomes an absurd. It's not correct. Now let's try with this. AD is 8 minus 2 times 1 which is 6 seconds. So time duration for which the lift moved with uniform velocity is 6 seconds out of the 8 seconds means if this is 6 this is 2 1 second and this is 1 second. So if this is 6 then this is 1 second and this is 1 second. Total journey is 8 seconds. That means for the first 1 second the lift accelerated and then it stayed with uniform velocity for 6 seconds and then it decelerated in the last 1 second. So the total time in which the body was in uniform velocity is uh, 6 seconds. Then we have to find uh, what was the uniform velocity with which the body or the lift was traveling. So uniform velocity uniform velocity is uh, AB. So this period the body was in uniform motion. So this is actually this part. So AB the velocity part. So AB and what is a AB? AB is 4x that we did in the beginning. So 4x, so 
So this is the right answer. So here we can write one, which is a four meter per second. So finally, the lift traveled with uniform velocity of four meter per second after being accelerated and before being retarded for a duration of six seconds.